of Planting Princess 92. My name is Ashley and today's video is the third and final video of my grow tent setup. As you, if you saw the first and second video, I did a video on the grow light I chose for this grow tent setup and yesterday I posted the video for the ventilation system. Well, today is the official grow tent setup and I'm really excited to get this all put together and see how my plants do in it. So without further ado, we'll just get this open, get this set up. Um, after I get, install this uh, actual grow tent, I will talk a little bit about how I'm going to install the grow light as well as the ventilation system, but I'll pretty much just be speeding through the video so you can see uh, what I'm actually doing to set this whole thing up. What are we gonna do? This is not taking forever. Okay. Today my handy dandy assistant is my mother. Hi. Hi plant friends. <laughs> So this comes with um, metal metal poles and metal uh, attachment clips um, to attach all the sides together. So I'm just going to insert all the all the frame together, build the frame up, and then put the cover over the frame. It's a really simple setup. You don't need any tools to set this thing up. It just kind of clips in with the little metal pop button thing system here. It's pretty easy. bottom base the top base will be exactly the same except it will be on the top on um, the poles that go up as you see I have right there they're labeled B and C so B goes on the bottom and then C goes on top and attaches you know the same way as those um, attachment uh, and clap and clips do so really simple <laughs> I don't know what they're for yet. 
but I will figure it out and I will let you know. support going across the top to help me hang the ventilation and lighting system. We'll see how that works out. We do have these little arms or hands or whatever that clip to the poles, so I would assume that's what it's for. you can kind of see what I did here so if you can see there was three of those poles with the arms two were labeled E one was labeled two were labeled E one was labeled F or vice versa whatever the letters don't really matter but two of them go along the edges and then the one goes across the yeah middle. let's grow plants Complete. The bottom is now inserted. there's an extra tray for the bottom that way it gives it more support um it's easier to keep clean so instead of having to like take this whole thing apart or all that nonsense you basically just you know move the plants that are sitting on the bottom lift this bottom tray out and it does have sides take that out clean it wash it whatever you want to do and then insert it back in so it makes the cleanup a lot easier So this is the bottom, like I said it has the size, it basically just sits in there.
Okay, so I am just going to show you guys what I am doing for the tray that I just mentioned. It's basically just set out through here and each corner has a little Velcro clip that I'll show you right here really quick. It is attached. You, you take this part, you take this part, flip it around back here and then just attach it to the side like that. And that's what holds this down. It's really, really simple. You do that on all four corners and that will keep this nice and tight. Okay, so now that we got the grow tent all set up, I am going to install the ventilation. So far, I just attached the strings that I'm gonna use to hold in the uh, carbon filter. Um, but other than that, I'm going to do everything else with you on screen here. Um, to install the fan portion of the ventilation system, I'm just going to use zip ties and kind of mount it on those bars up there. Um, it advises you to mount it to a stable um, surface, obviously with this, but I'm just going to loop the zip ties through here. And uh, it's pretty heavy, so I will make sure I use um heavier duty zip ties and i'll make sure i use enough of them that i know it's going to support the weight and that this isn't going to come crashing down on top of my plants or onto the floor um real quick i'll just show you the carbon filter does or the charcoal filter does go on the side with the arrow or with the slant so the ducting then goes on obviously the opposite side because I want my ducting to run out of this hole. I wanna make sure I have it positioned the correct way. That way I can put my filter on it without um, it being backwards. And also, if you have, obviously my rotund's big enough to run this straight, it's best if you can run the ducting. Um, so I'll just show you really quick. The ducting in a straight line rather than bend it and curve it because that all that does is kind of slow down the airflow because it has to make all those turns so if your grow tent's big enough that you are able to just run this straight out without any turns in it that would be best obviously if it's not you have to do what you have to do but just um, a little quick tip there <laughs> that's not going to go anywhere so I am not worried about that I am now going to um, if you saw my ventilation um, video that I posted this is the pre filter that goes over it over the uh, charcoal filter what this does is it kind of catches any extra debris hairs or any um, dust or anything like that that would get sucked into this filter um, that extends the life of the filter. These I would recommend replacing and they recommend replacing every six months. Um, I wouldn't go past a year. I'll probably make sure I replace this every six months, eight months tops. Um, but this definitely makes the life last longer for your ventilation system. You can find these online on Amazon. Um, they're, they're relatively inexpensive. So you just slip this on. So that's how it works. It slips on really tight there, comes all the way to this edge, um, and then it'll stay on quite nicely. So what we're going to do, we're just going to slip this in the holders that I have here, the two um, ropes that it came with, and then I'm going to tighten these up and then attach it right onto here. So 
before I attach any of this, uh, and I before I tighten this, I even insert it into where it's supposed to be and put the um, put the clamp around it. That way, it's already there. I don't have to worry about any of that extra stuff. I can just tighten it up, and this side will be all done and ready to go. This one requires a flathead screwdriver or a hex head or hex head socket or whatever they're called. <laughs> basically going to do it the same way I am going to put this on the side uh, on the opposite side attach this and tighten it up so that way um, it stays tight there and then I will insert this side out of that little hole you see right there and that will be where all the excess um, where it gets the fresh air from or takes out the air <laughs> just in case I ever need them to be longer. So I will just kind of tuck them up there, wrap them around so they're out of the way. Um, but let me show you the finished products. All right. So here we have the iPower 4 inch 190 CFM inline duct ventilation system. It's kind of just going out of that little airscape right there. And this is going to be perfect to ventilate the smell and uh, mediate the temperature inside this grow tent. Okay, so last but not least, I have the Vivo Sun Cree 1200 watt LED COV grow light that I have to install in here. It was real simple. It came with this um, uh, really uh, hardy, sturdy, and durable hang wire because it's not so high and these clips don't fit around the poles. I'm going to use a couple zip ties to just attach it as I did with the um, exhaust fan right here. So what I will do is just, you know, insert the zip ties through here, tie them around right here, and it's that simple.
So there we have it. Everything is now all officially set up. I'm really excited. I need to just get a shelf in here, put some plants in here, turn everything on, get it running, and we'll be good to go. Um, I will do an update video maybe, I don't know, six months down the road to let you guys know what I have growing in here, how everything's doing, how the exhaust is working and running, how the grow light holds up for the plants, um, and also how the grow tent is doing. So... That was relatively easy. I thought it was going to be a lot harder. I did struggle at first with the way the grow tent was. Um, like I said, I would recommend kind of setting the um, the cover out onto the floor and then building the base inside of the bottom of the grow tent because it was kind of a pain in the butt to kind of get this thing inside of this just because it's so big and the room I'm working in isn't much bigger than the grow tent. Um, so that's about it. Thank you guys again for joining me. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Um, I hope this helped you and will help you set up a grow tent of your own or inspire you to do so. If you're just beginning to get into plants or already have been in, into plants for a while but don't have a grow tent yet, it could be a big benefit for you, especially if you have a lot of those tropical and humidity loving plants. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're interested in the content I provide. And as always, every plant's a princess. Bye!